in my car and i don't have much time to update you guys so i thought i'd just do it on my phone i'm headed out to go meet a friend for brunch and why am i out of breath i just want to show you guys what i was wearing don't mind this stuff in the background i have to take care of that it's so annoying and i'm putting together some outfits for this weekend currently so just don't even mind the background. I got this last year at um, Forever 21. These are from Abercrombie. And my little booties are from ASOS, I think. Last year or the year before? And then I just got these off Amazon. These hoops, so. I'm really excited to go see her. I haven't seen her in forever. Her name's Megan and um, she lived in Texas for a while and they moved back up to Maine a couple months ago so it'll be exciting to see her and yeah just thought I'd show you guys what I wore what I'm wearing because I never do that but I have to head out soon so you guys I was just brushing my teeth and I realized I never did an intro because this is a new vlog so anyway hi welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm stephanie and hopefully you guys stick around don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video on my way or i'm getting ready to go let my sister's dog out because it's like 11 30 and they her puppy's still really really young so so they asked me to go over and let her out today so i'm gonna go do that and i'm also going to use their treadmill in their basement while I'm there because I need to get back on track with working out and filling my water bottle. So anyway, it's Tuesday and I was going to start yesterday, but I had the craziest weekend ever and I filmed a wedding for a family friend so I could do a wedding video for them and then all Sunday I was out with my sister and we were getting content for Instagram and yeah so yesterday I had plans and I completely forgot about them and it's okay because the other person did too. I was so tired yesterday from the weekend. I had so much going on and it was just crazy. So I'm getting back on track today. I set some goals last night in my journal and hopefully I can stick to them and get them done this week. Because ever since quarantine, I've kind of been slacking in like taking care of my body. So. I am eating well. I meal prepped this week, yesterday, and I am gonna go work out. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And so I have my water, and I think that's all I need. I need to turn off this light. And head out. You be a good boy, okay? Here. Love you. Be good. So pretty outside. I just realized I forgot headphones. So this is gonna be a fun workout. Hi Milo. Hi baby. Say hello. <laughs> okay, hang on, I gotta put my stuff down. 
Let's go inside. Go potty. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go, go. You are too cute. Go, go, go. Come here. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> you are so lovely. Say hello. Oh, say hi. Oh, you are cute. Look at that tail. Oh, say hi to the camera. You're getting so big. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hello. <laughs> you got some grass. Yeah. figure out how to turn this treadmill on. It's kind of funny. He texted me and said bottom left side. Bottom left side. Let me FaceTime her. We figured it out. This is a really old treadmill, but you know what? If it gets the job done, it's fine, right? If it works, it's fine. We'll see if it works because what I'm doing is hit, so I have to go really fast for a certain amount of time. Is this like zoomed in on me? How do I zoom out? There we go. It's been zoomed in this whole time. So for what I'm using it for is for hit. What I like to do is I do it for like 15 minutes and I set a timer. So I'll go 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I think that's what I do. I haven't done this in so long, but I literally saw the best results doing this. So I really wanted to start and get back on track with that. I really enjoy it. It sucks in the moment, but it's so worth it. Stay tuned. <laughs> dying my lungs are on fire <laughs> but yeah this is how I see results that I want so they say only to do hit workouts like uh, two to three times a week at the most you don't want to do anything more because you want to give your body a chance to rest and your muscles and it's just like really really tough on your body I'm gonna do a an ab workout and then I think I'm gonna be done because that was really a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. Like I know how tough HIIT workouts are but I was not expecting, oh I almost just fell over. 
I was just not expecting it to be that rough. So I'm gonna do a hit. I mean, not a hit. Um, did I move anything? No. I'm gonna go do an ab workout upstairs on the carpet because I don't think she has a yoga mat here. Hi. You wanna say hello? Say hello. <laughs> You are too cute, you know that? <laughs> I definitely need to go home and eat something. Oh no, I left my sweatshirt. <sighs> what is going on? I'm losing my mind. I'm literally losing it. Okay, now I'm going home. I'm dead. I just got home. I am currently heating up my meal prep for lunch, and so then I'm gonna eat that. I was hoping I would have time to look at the footage from the wedding that I did this weekend, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna have time because I need to shower and then um, leave for work. Tomorrow I'm definitely gonna have to start on that so that I can get... Can you stop sniffing me? He smells Danny's dog all over me. He won't stop sniffing. <laughs> I just finished my lunch, but I was in the fridge because I'm still hungry. And I forgot that Nick made this salsa this weekend. Um, it's so good. I love homemade salsa. It's really, really spicy, but I'm just going to have a tiny bit just because I'm craving it, honestly. If you like homemade salsa, I think it's the best salsa in the world like I think it's way better than store-bought if you like it I think this is the pioneer woman restaurant style or something and it's delicious and I think Nick said it was super easy to make so I would definitely try it out if you like a homemade salsa I think it's delicious and I get so addicted to it I can't stop eating it just a side note wanted to let you guys know put you on this you know the whole shebang so yeah um I probably should have prefaced that it's not a super spicy salsa if you don't want it to be Nick just got the spicy Rotel tomatoes with the jalapenos and he also then kept all the seeds from the jalapenos when he put those in too so if you don't like it super spicy or if you don't like it spicy at all you would just get normal Rotel tomatoes and then you would also take out all of the seeds from the jalapenos but i just wanted to tell you that because i said it was super spicy but that's because nick wanted it to be that way so he did make it a little too spicy so he said next time he would use the regular rotel tomatoes in case you guys were wondering that useless information unless you try the salsa if you do try it let me know i'll try and link it down below and yeah, so you guys can try it. It's really, really good. It makes so much, and it's just so much better than store-bought. 
I have my favorite tortilla chips. And these are just the Siete grain free tortillas of mixed nuts. These are dry roasted almonds, and these ones are just like the mixed ones. We are going to brush out your hair. And you're gonna hate me. Because you hate me. Aftermath of of brushing my dog. Okay, it's from you. So I'm all set. I'm ready for the day. This is a no foundation makeup look. So if you want me to do a video on how I made myself look like this without foundation, let me know. Um, I just use like concealer and like every other product under the sun. <laughs> I have been really liking it lately. I don't, I feel like my face doesn't look as cakey and, and I find that that happens a lot if I use foundation. So, um, it just looks more natural and I've just been really enjoying it. So let me know in the comments down below.